Bowman here from BW1.com. I'm gonna give you an unboxing, hands-on, and first impressions look at the T-Mobile HTC Amaze 4G. We first saw the Amaze 4G back at uh, Pepcom over during CTIA. You saw we did a quick uh, hands-on video of that. We had a nice demo of it. Now we have our review unit in, and we're gonna just do a quick unboxing. So we'll just slide off the packaging here. And there's the Amaze here itself. Pretty cool. All right. Let's see what else what comes inside the box here. We have looks like this is the wall adapter. Most likely inside of here is the micro USB cable. As you can see there for charging and syncing, of course. And just show you guys what the wall adapter it looks like. Standard HTC wall adapter. All right. Let's see. Nothing else in there. Let's see what we have in here. Start guide, some nonsense, you know, honest uselessness. Well, at least the start guide's kind of pretty, I suppose, in this one. But yeah, like you're not gonna read it, so what does it matter? All right, here's the maze here itself. We'll go ahead and peel off the plastic. You guys want to see that? Pretty nice, pretty um, pretty light device. Pretty cool so far. Um, we'll go over the specs here real quick, do a quick hardware tour. Now this is a four-inch QHD display here, 4.3-inch QHD display. Supposed to be a two megapixel camera at the top. Then at the bottom here, you have your touch sensitive buttons for a menu, for a home menu back in search. And the side here looks like we have a micro USB port. Uh, on this side here, you have the volume rocker. It's like you have probably a dedicated camera. Oh, I know this is a dedicated video button and this is a dedicated camera button. And then right back here is the big thing, which is the 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash, 1080p video recording. It's supposed to be a really good camera, it has a HDR capabilities. Yeah, I think it has an f-stop of f.2.2. F, f Not exactly sure on that. I'll correct that in the notes. But I know this really has a nice wide lens in it to take in more lights. which is a really good camera. I know this has like a unibody design. So maybe you'll be able to pop off the back of the door here. And you see that's where the SIM card is located. This is where your micro SD card slot goes. And then you have your battery right here. Which looks to be a... Can get a reading on it. 1730 milliamp hour battery, as you can see there. Alright, now you gotta snap back in there like that. Alright, now it does come with a dual core processor, it's a Qualcomm Snapdragon S3 processor, clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. Go ahead and power this on. We have Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, all that fancy stuff. And it is running Android under 2.3 gingerbread with the latest version of Sense UI on top. This is a 4G phone. It does take a uh, HSPA plus 42 megabits, so it's the second phone to take that uh, fastest speed on T-Mobile's network. The other one being the T-Mobile Galaxy S2. All right, I know we don't have a SIM card in here, but we should still be able to navigate around. Go ahead and unlock up the phone here. You can see Sense UI right there. As my phone goes off, probably should have put it on silent there. But you guys get the idea. Go through the menu here a little bit. Show you a little bit there. It's a fast, real responsive phone, real fast. All right, really cool here. Go in the settings real quick. Take a look at what we have for storage. Have for storage right here. Phone comes with about um, 9.7 four gigabytes available of storage. So it probably has something around uh, around 16 or so. Probably some of it's used for the um, for the OS and you have total total storage here available for phone storage and you have internal storage is probably where your apps are split up and such like that. But that is a quick unboxing hands on of the Amaze 4G. Uh, really nice phone. I really like the design. Um, very solid build so far. I'm really impressed and can't wait to uh, really test this out. We're definitely going to do some camera tests for you so definitely check that out. It's going to be coming up real soon. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, also check out our full website. The link to that and all the social media is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.